It was the first full day of deliberations for a jury considering the fate of a Henderson County man. Jermaine Glover is on trial for first degree murder and the death of Misty Carter in 2009. Prosecutors say he dumped her body on the Blue Ridge Parkway and set it on fire. News 13's Cheryl Barber is live from the courthouse. Cheryl, did prosecutors ever show a murder weapon? No, investigators uh, never found a weapon, but the autopsy found that Misty Carter did die of a blow to the head. So prosecutors had to use other evidence to build a case against Jermaine Glover. Today, Glover moved in and out of the courtroom as the jury entered day two of their deliberations. Jurors left the building twice today for lunch and the afternoon break. During the trial, Glover took the witness stand in his own defense and denied he killed Misty Carter. He says he did not know who killed her. Prosecutors laid out a case against Glover based on matches found near Carter's body at a parkway overlook near the Arboretum. The man who found that body testified that he saw someone who looked like Glover driving along the parkway in the early morning hours when he made the discovery. He pointed to Glover when asked who he saw. State investigators stated that they found Misty Carter's blood on a couch in Glover's home, but the defense countered there were no signs a body had been dragged out of the home that no murder weapon was found and no information presented about where those matches found at the crime scene came from. The defense also pointed out that Glover had no record of violent crime. Now the jury began deliberations yesterday around 3 p.m. shortly after they asked uh, to take a closer look at some evidence that had been presented in the trial. The judge granted that request and this afternoon they asked for the uh, definition of a reasonable doubt and the judge gave them that information. The judge adjourned the deliberation shortly after five with no verdict. Now we're going to continue covering this trial and bring you the jury's verdict live when it's announced in court. Reporting live in Henderson County, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.